Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about parallax and parsecs. Now, in order to do so, I have a little diagram here which I've tried to illustrate those topics. However, let me give you a warning. This diagram is wildly out of scale. However, it serves good for visualization purposes. Okay, well, now let's get started. First of all, let's imagine that uh, this over here is the sun. Here's the sun in all of its glory. Now, uh, we have the Earth, which uh, will be in an elliptical orbit uh, around it, and uh, the average distance between the Earth and the Sun is known as one astronomical unit. So that means that this distance over here from the Earth to the Sun is one astronomical unit. The parallax is a technique that we use to determine the distances to nearby stars. What we're actually doing is we are observing a nearby star. By comparing the nearby star to the fixed background of much further away stars, we're going to notice that uh, the star will be moving with respect to that fixed background. Because the Earth is moving around the Sun, in about six months time the Earth will be on the opposite side of the orbit. And this distance here will once again be one astronomical unit. Now, when the Earth moves around its orbit, the star will shift in its position to the background. We can actually measure this apparent displacement with an angle. Uh, in fact, astronomers tend to measure this whole angle first of all. Um, however, just half of this whole angle is known as the parallax. Once again, the parallax angle is essentially a measure of the apparent displacement of the star against a fixed background. If we really think about this, the parallax angle will actually depend on the distance to the star. For instance, if this star was, let's say, shifted somewhere over here, so let's say this was a star, we could see that our parallax, ang parallax angle will be different. It will be smaller like so. So if the star was there, our new parallax angle will be along here, which will be a smaller parallax angle. So once again, this angle over here is known as the parallax angle. The angle is normally really really small. If you remember I started my video by saying that this diagram is really out of scale. The reason for that is that this angle here is measured in arc seconds. Now an arc second is a fraction of a degree. A degree is divided into arc minutes, and there are 60 of them, and there are arc seconds, which is a 60th of an arc minute. So that means that by definition, one arc second will be one over 3600th of a degree. Now, why is the parallax angle really useful? Well, in fact, we can use some really simple trigonometry to estimate or actually calculate the distance to nearby stars. In order to show you this, let's have a look at the definition of a parsec, for instance. A parsec is defined as the distance which a uh, one astronomical unit will subtend an angle of one 
arc second. Now, what does that mean? That means that in this triangle over here, this angle over here, the parallax angle, is going to be equal to one arc second. So this over here is one arc second. You can write this over here. And essentially, when this distance here is one astronomical unit, the uh, parallax angle will be equal to one arc second. So this distance here will be a parsec. So this is one parsec. Let's calculate the um, value of one parsec in meters. In order to do so, we need to use just simple trigonometry. Notice that we have the parallax angle, which is one arc second, and we know that the opposite is one astronomical unit, which is 1.5 times 10 to the power of 11 meters, and the adjacent to this angle is one parsec. So, now um, let's uh, just write this down, let's just zoom out so you guys can see this. So, tan of one arc second, so one arc second is one three thousand six hundredth of a degree. Remember, we defined this earlier. There it is. We've written over here. One arc second is one three thousand six hundredth of a degree, and uh, this will be equal to the opposite, which is sort of just write opposite over adjacent. Actually, for completeness, opposite over adjacent. And um, we can also just rewrite this. 1 over 3600 will be equal to, right, now our opposite is 1.5 times 10 to the power of 11, which is one astronomical unit. Like so, that's just the distance from the Earth to the Sun. And we're going to divide this by the adjacent, which is the value of 1 parsec. I'm just going to write PC for the parsec. I can, I can just rearrange for the value of uh, 1 parsec. And uh, this will be equal to 1.5 times 10 to the power of 11 meters divided by the tan of a very, very tiny angle, 1 arc second, which is 1 over 3600th of a degree like so. If we put that into a scientific calculator, we're going to get that one parsec is actually equal to 3.1 times 10 to the power of 16 meters. So we've just calculated the value of one parsec in meters. As we can see, this is a pretty large distance and in fact, we are going to use this as a unit of measurement in astronomy um, to make sense of the large distances from the Earth to stars. Now, just to recap what we have talked about today, we defined what a parallax angle here is, and then we also defined uh, the parsec as the distance that has been subtended by one astronomical unit and an angle of one arc second. Now, we can combine the parallax and parsecs expressions into an incredibly useful formula in astronomy and that is that our distance in parsecs from a nearby star so a distance i'm going to write down the unit in brackets will be equal to one over the parallax in arc seconds now, the reason why I am writing out the, um, the units for this equation is because this equation only works in those units. So it only works if our distance in, is in parsecs, then our uh, parallax angle will be given in arc 
seconds. And we can use that to uh, directly calculate the distance to stars in, um, in parsecs if we have their um, if we have their parallax angle. This uh, formula is a consequence of the small angle approximation really, but it's uh, incredibly useful. Let's apply this formula to a uh, to a simple example over here. We have a star which has a parallax of 0.72 arc seconds. Find the distance to the star in both parsecs and in meters. Okay, well remember in this case if I'm given the uh, parallax angle, I can find my distance in parsecs just by going that distance is 1 over p which is equal to 1 over 0.72. If we put that into a calculator, we get 1.38 parsecs. Now, um, in order to convert from parsecs to meters, we need to multiply by the conversion factor. So 1.38 times, um, if you remember, we derived the conversion factor. One parsec is 3.1 times 3.1 times 10 to the power of 16. So uh, we can multiply this. Over here 1.38 times 3.1 times 10 to the power of 16 and let's put that into a scientific calculator so multiply by 3.1 times 10 to the power of 16 and we are going to get about 4.3 times 10 to the power of 16 meters Okay, folks, this was quite a long online lesson about parsecs, parallax, and d is equal to 1 over p. So hopefully this makes sense. If there are any questions about this online lesson, do leave a comment. And thank you very much for watching, and I hope this was useful.